All right, now what I'm going to discuss are two main things that you need to learn in order to play the game and really have some fun with it. And that is how to find your way around the island, which we'll demonstrate from time to time. You pull up the big map and see where the arrow shows that you are as you go around the island. And eventually you'll be able to learn these places. The second thing is how to jump. And now it's worth it to go through the game as the game is laid out because that will give you some skill at jumping. But now we're going to take it further than that because we turn all these different obstacles into jumps. So right out here on the path leading to the old oak and the riding house, there's a lot of these smaller rocks. And they're a good one to learn how to jump rocks on. They're very easy. I'm sure there'll be no problem for you if you've gone through the game. And there's a series of them here. So you can get some good practice in as you jump these rocks. Start off slow at a slow canter. Whoops, I'm going to miss this one. Whoa! Oh. All right. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> and uh, you can speed it up as you get better. The other thing, and this is the main thing, is you want to jump these bigger rocks. But start off jumping rocks that are on the side of a hill because they're easier. Jump the upside of the rock, and you have to jump about a, um, a third or a quarter of the way into the rock, like I'm doing here. Okay, and then you do not want to jump halfway through the rock because you'll turn pink. And we all know that's no fun. It takes up time. But jump at the top of the rock. And then as you learn and as you get better, you can jump the flatter rocks and you'll be able to do okay with those too. <clears throat> so that's the main point there. And now we're going to give our attention to Carol. And she's at the outside bridge. And she's going to show us something else. Okay. So you notice here I'm standing at the outside bridge, which is the farthest bridge away from the stables. And look at the box in the upper right hand corner and you notice the arrow is going towards the water. And so that's the direction we are heading. And this is one of the paths you can take to the ancient oak tree. And there is a little challenge we like to do down here that is kind of fun. We do it occasionally and it's the pier and so we'll incorporate jumping the pier into our challenges. It's just a fun little thing. And then, uh, and then some, there we go. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, some, yeah. It's not always smooth. No. <laughs> but um, Right up ahead, on my right hand side, is a little isthmus. And we use this isthmus to jump to an island that you notice in the upper right hand side. And jumping across the water is very important. You notice we're swimming. You ideally, jump into the water and not just rush into it because that will save a lot of time by jumping into it. And then also, Angles are very important because you need to try to take the shortest distance possible between point A and B. And once again, that little box in the upper right hand corner will help you to determine that when considering the shoreline, which is the closest place to jump. And when we're in competition, believe me, every little angle makes a difference because oh. we're fighting for the lead the whole time. Yes. It's every man for himself. So right now I'm heading up to Watchtower. So while Carol's going up to Watchtower, I'm going to show you something out here at Two Horse. This is an area just past the racetrack. The racetrack's right on the other side of that hill there. And you probably are familiar with these horses out here in these corrals. Well, one of our competition um, calls for us to jump into the arena, jump the two horses, and back out. And you want to do it as smoothly as possible. So I'm going to hopefully give it a try here and see how it works. Because again, we're trying to, you know, compete against each other. There, I did it. 
And so we want to do it as smooth and as quickly as we can. But I have to warn you that changing, jumping these horses is very difficult and you just have to keep trying. It takes a long, long time to accomplish that. So I am sitting here at the top of the watchtower and my destination is to the top of that rock mass. And you will notice angle is so very important because you need to be very precise. I just run up it and then I jump. So it's a matter of just, we oh, 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 no. oh, 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 my horse is a little too frisky. Sometimes you fall off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But you notice the views are so worth it up here. It just shows you that there is a lot of potential with this island, with all, that, with all the different activities you can have. So, once again, I mentioned um, angle is so very important. And then just practice, practice and have fun with it, and experiment. Okay. Now I'm over on the area that we call right foot. Let me pull it up on the map, the big map, and show you. Here you can see the white arrow. Um, that's the top of right foot. We have those two pieces of land that stick out at the bottom. One is right foot and one is left foot. That's what we call it. So again, this is how you can help locate yourself and learn the island is by pulling yourself up on the map and seeing where you are from time to time. Now, I've just crossed over this waterway and what I'm going to do is go out and um, do a couple of rock masses. They can be quite challenging. There's some of them that are very easy and others that can be a little bit challenging. So the first one, we have three here. I thought this would be a good place to show you the different types that there are. And the first one we have is a very easy one. It's right over here. Right there. And all you have to do is run up it from the long way. Not a big deal. The next one is my least favorite. I only recently got to the point where I could jump up this with no trouble. Again, watching your angles. There, oh, oh, yeah. Oh. I did it. Yeah. I'm so excited every time I do that one. <laughs> okay. And again, this is the third one. This is a big one. You see it on different places on the island. The easiest thing to do is just run down here to the shorter end of it and then you can run right up it. If you take it from the other end, it's going to be longer. Well, I'm going to stop here for a minute. Oh, I'm getting oh. a sunset. This will be nice. Yeah. Okay, right over here is a little island. We have several... Oh, isn't that pretty? It is. <laughs> we have several uh, competition items that we do out there. And let me show you where I am on the map. So now you see I'm down at the end of that, that area. Okay, since I'm out here, I'm also going to show you a weave that we do. And it's right, right over here, so right directly across from that island. And there we have to rear. Of course, anytime you rear or you run into something, you know that it's taking extra time. Yes. And the person you're racing against is getting ahead of you. So oh. that's not good. Yeah, they can take advantage of all oh. those seconds. They add up. Now we come down here, oh, that's the rock. Okay, so we want to take it definitely from this oh. side of it. That's pretty. It is. Take it on the upper side of it, uphill side. And then we're going to weave around these trees, which you can go a little bit quicker now to do this, around these part of the trees. But when you get up here, you've got to slow down again. And this is a little tighter weave. And it can be challenging. You're running all out, and all of a sudden you've got to stop and do something like this that's more controlled. It's a little bit challenging. Go around this last tree and then up over a rock to end the weave. Well, oh. that wasn't too good of a jump. But. <laughs> okay, so now we'll take it back to Carol again. So you notice I'm here at the stables, and I'm facing Watchtower, 
and in between the stables and watchtower is a ridge with several peaks on the and it's on my left hand side. I will proceed to go up to those peaks and I'm simply going down the path and then you can take a shortcut. You'll learn all kinds of shortcuts while playing this game. You don't have to stay on the path. So I'm just weaving my way up here. Once again, angles are very important. And then I am approaching, this is Marsh's Peak, and right in the middle, I keep that black spot as a, like a little landmark. But um, you'll find there is a path to reach the top of this peak. But you have to stay right in the middle. If yeah. you go off to the side at all, you're going to fall off. That's Watchtower ahead of me. And then you also get a really good view of the island. That's Waterfall in that direction. So, oh, my horse is so restless. So I'm going to go down. And take a slow gallop. A canter along this ridge, which is pretty easy. You can go faster if you like, but um, just try to stay in the middle. And the more you do it, the more familiar you come with it. And oh, there it is. Um, the more you ride this island throughout the island, the more familiar you come with it, and you will discover. Pretty much everything on the island can be turned into a competition or some kind of a challenge. See, and that's the small peak. And I am also, uh oh, I'm also right behind the stables. I'll just stop there, I'm right behind the stables. So you can go down. It's tricky with that, that range. There's only a couple places where you can really go up and down, so you kind of have to find that out. Oh, oh, oh. And she turned pink. Well, yes. That's a good time to end it. Which could be fatal when you're in a competition, so yeah. you never want to turn pink. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, go. Now I'm going to show one of our triple jumps. We have several places on the island where there's two or three big rocks together. We try and jump them off. Right ahead of me is that mountain range where Carol just was, where um, the two peaks are that she just went to. So I'm going to show you on the map where I am. And basically behind the stables and then that girl at the cabin, I'm on the other side of that mountain range, down by the water. And down over this way, you can see the water over there, there is a triple jump here. You can take this slow or fast. Sometimes it can be really hard and you just can't get it. Sometimes it's easy. Oh, Whoa, oh my. I get it. Um, we try and get all three. It's very difficult to get all three. Yeah. You can take it from here, too. So we're happy if it turns into a double jump. Oh, wow. No, you, that was good. Yeah. I didn't get that good what before. Happened? I don't know, but I think <laughs> I discovered a new way to do it. All right, so... This is going to end our video for now, and we plan on, um, oh, I'm sorry, I almost forgot Carol. Oh, well, she has, <laughs> she has one more to show you, one more place to show you, and it's actually my favorite, and I was going to forget it, so oh. we'll let Carol take over now. So you notice in the upper right hand corner where I'm at, there are several paths, and I'm just outside the stables. So I'm in between the stables and the racetrack. There is a very unique jump just ahead of me that we call the bank jump. And it's very important to take this jump at an angle. I go, I approach it very slowly. Take, oops! <laughs> yeah. And then um, you jump at an angle. If you try to jump this head on, it's not going to work very well. So, and you can also go from uh, either, either direction. But this requires a little bit of skill, too, because you have to be so precise in, uh, in doing this. You just make it look easy. Yeah. 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 So, 
that is um, what we like to show you today and we were going to do another video that will show some of the courses that we take in a competition.